Hello and welcome back. This is Jeremy and today we're going to talk about variables and literals. So you might be thinking to yourself like what is a variable? Well if you remember back in you took some algebra or for those who haven't taken algebra yet basically a variable it's going to be like a little you can think of it as, as a bucket it's going to store some type of information. Well for computers what a variable is is a storage location in a computer's memory. Okay, so that's a variable. So what's a literal? A literal is a value that is written into the code of the program. So let's kind of jump into this and kind of see what's going on here. So we're going to make a new project, Java project, and I'm just going to call it variable. Or variables, plural. Finish. Then I'm going to right click on source file and I'm going to hit new class. I'm just going to call the same thing. I'm going to call it variable. Variable. Uh, variables. Finish. I'm going to put my comment up here in this class header. Okay. Then in between these two curly brackets, we need to put in public static public static void main string left right bracket arcs. And our curly brackets. Okay, so we got this up. This is our. Let's go to put our comment in here as well. This is our main method. Okay, so we got this all typed up. So we're ready to go. All right. So like I was saying, a variable is something that's going to be stored in a memory location. You don't really have to worry about where it's being stored at. Just know that it is stored somewhere. Any literal is what you literally type out. So here, let me give you an example real quick, and I kind of go through it. So I'm gonna say int as f for for, for integer. Let's say value. Yeah, value equals five. Oops, five. Okay. And since I declared an int with the value of five, so when I call this or when I when I use this to print to the screen. It should print out the value five. Oops, if I type it out right, print. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do print line, and then I'm gonna type in value. V a l v a l u e. Okay, so th this would be that's how we would uh, declare a variable. Right here, this would be declaring a variable. We use the equal signs to assign the value five to that value. That's a lot of values in that sentence. <laughs> so let me show you what a string literal is. And then we'll kind of walk through this again. Okay, so what I said was string literal, you, we, we're literally putting literals in the... We're just putting literals in. There's whatever you type, it's actually what's going to be shown on the screen. Okay, so see this in action. I'm going to hit um, Control S to save it. I'm going to hit print, or not print, run. And as you can see, I print my the value 5. Oops, here, let me scoot this up just a little bit. It might be easier to see. There you go. So we, so the first one did the sysmout.print, then we called the value. And what was stored in this value was a 5, and it prints a 5. And this is our literal that we typed in. And no, it says literal n. Now, the nice thing about a, a variable is I can change this value to say 105. Hit Control S for save, run, and now when it prints, it prints out 105. For me to change this, I mean, I still can, it's not that hard, but sometimes it's just easier just to change a variable. And variables actually are a lot easier to change because you can use them as a constant thing. So that being covered, let's go into what's called the plus operator. Now the plus operator is used to combine things together. In Java they call it concatenation. So we use the at the plus symbol. So say like I don't want this to print five, but instead I'm gonna change this up to say um, the value the value it dang it if I can spell 
the value is, there we go, <laughs> plus, or, or concatenate, value. There you go. <laughs> All right. So now when I print it, it should, should print the value is colon, then a space, then the variable 105. There we go. There it is. The value is 105. So, and I can even add the value is 105. So I, oh, I can, can, can add some more to this. Um, let's see. The value is value, which is 105 in the variable name value. So you can string along, string along a long line of text if you want to, and just keep building things together. You could even, if I wanted to, if I didn't want this, remember when we, in the last, in the last tutorial, I talked about the um, new line characters, or excuse me, the um, escape sequences. Well, we could put one in here. We could do like new line. We'll save this, and this should drop it down to the new line. All right. Let's see. I think there's one more thing I wanted to cover. Well, I think that's really about it. What we've covered um, declaring a, vari a, a variable. And of course, there's a lot of different types of variables, and we'll get into those really soon. Um, I just kind of want to get you kind of dabbled in it. You can play around this. You can change this to whatever you want if you want to. Um, so we covered declaring variables, um, the difference in a literal, or what is a literal. We even incorporated some of the old stuff that we learned as well. So that's what really program is, programming is, is just you learn a little bit, you lose, you use a little bit. You learn a little bit, you use a little bit more. The next thing you know, you have this nice toolbox of options to create something pretty neat. So on that note, hope you guys have a great day. Make sure you hit uh, subscribe, like, follow, all that good stuff for me. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time.